Open your eyes, can you see me now? Open your mind, can you see me now? Open your eyes, can you see me now? Can you see me now? Can you see me now? When I was young, I told my family I want to be a model. Impossible, said my uncle. The dark you are, the ugly you are considered. Well, if he could see me now. I was once in a beauty pageant where I was told I wasn't white enough to compete. Instead of using that as an excuse to hold me down, I used it as motivation to lift me up. I am who I am today because I did not let other people's judgment of skin color affect me. This is who I am, I am Fijian, and I am proud. Where I come from, there's a dark obsession with fair skin. And in the acting and modeling industry, I find that the directors and photographers give a shocking reassurance that in the end, my skin will look lighter. As if light skin is the benchmark of beauty. My mother's got a matchmaking website, which means you're always getting marriage proposals. And when people ask if I'm good looking, my mom says, no, my daughter, she's dark. And in my culture, when you go to a wedding and either the bride or the groom is fairer than the other, people will say that the fair one is better looking and the dark one is lucky. And it's not judged on the personality or anything. It's just purely judged on skin color. Born in Holland, I was like the only black girl in the village. I felt beautiful and exotic. But moving to England with more black people, at school I was told that my skin was too dark. It was strange because it was coming from those with skin just as black as mine. Doubting my beautiful black skin was frustrating. I started to use screens to lighten my look, but my mum slapped me out of it. She encouraged me to embrace my blackness. Now, I wouldn't trade my skin for the world. I was born in Saudi Arabia and it wasn't easy to have a dark skin and curly hair. But funny enough, lately, women from the Gulf looking for the sun to get darker skin and curly hair. But guess what? I was born this way, baby.
I grew up in Bendigo, Victoria, the most Anglo-Saxon community in the whole of Australia. So there I was, this little black dot in a sea of white. I have many different faces in life, with work, family and friends, but I only have one skin. Coming from the oldest living culture in the world, I've learnt to embrace my heritage and embrace me. From a young age I always knew what you were thinking. Every time you judge me on my skin colour, what you fail to realise is how much it hurt me. Every time you thought I wasn't good enough for you, I believed it. Eventually I was strong enough to believe in myself and say, I'm not the black one. I am the beautiful one. Coming from a country where being natural is seen as a rebellious act and short or natural hair not considered pretty or fashionable, it's been a struggle for me to find a balance. In the end, I realised what mattered the most was how comfortable I feel. The more comfortable I feel with my hair and body, the more confident I feel and that confidence makes me feel beautiful. It's all about me and my state of mind. Healthy mind, healthy body. It's just how I roll. Never thought it was possible to be a model with black skin, brown eyes and big lips. I always thought beautiful was having blonde hair and blue eyes. What is beauty? It's not just about looks on a day-to-day -day basis. It's about looks, it's about personality, how you present yourself and how you deal with it all. I've never had a problem being comfortable with my skin. If someone else have a problem, well that's their problem, not mine. Let's get started. Get this started. Just because I have standards, some think I am a bitch. They can think whatever they want. I don't give up.
Are you a girl? No, I'm a woman. What kind of woman? A beautiful black woman. <laughs> Ruby Dee was right when she said, the best kind of beauty is the hard to get kind. The kind that comes from within. Strength, courage, and dignity. Beauty does come from within. If you feel beautiful, you will look beautiful. The key is to feel comfortable within your own skin. They will see you now. <laughs>